Hi guys, welcome back to Gunner's Travels. I'm so excited to see that you've returned. This episode, actually, I'm going to be narrating the entire journey uh, through Ho Chi Minh City. Now, usually I don't like to dive much into the politics, but Ho Chi Minh City is an exception. It was a significant point in the war. And for that reason, we actually did visit lots of political places. Right now, I'm just going to try to give a rundown, basically, of what happened during the Vietnam War. So guys, I hope you like my green screen. Green screen. So this is Vietnam. Vietnam is divided politically between the North and the South. See, the North supported communism and the South did not. They wanted democracy. And so the United States aided Southern Vietnam in a war against the North to try to stop the spread of communism. Ho Chi Minh City was actually known as Saigon before the war. And then when the city fell, they renamed it Ho Chi Minh City after the dictator at the time, Ho Chi Minh. That was all the very watered down version. Obviously, there's a lot that goes on here between politically, but you should know that Ho Chi Minh City slash Saigon is right here in southern Vietnam. Okay, to get things started, we actually visited a Mexican restaurant when we first got into town. I know what you're thinking. You're probably like, why would you visit a Mexican restaurant in Vietnam? In Vietnam. The answer to that question is we were really just missing something that felt really familiar to us, especially me and the girls, us Americans who literally eat Mexican food, well, Tex-Mex food every single day. So Lily, where are we at right now? Right now we're at Tippy's Mexican Food in Saigon. I'm super excited because Mexican food is my favorite and I've been craving it. And it looks pretty good. Wow. Wow. Think this is going to compare to the Mexican food back home or? No, not at all. <laughs> but I think it will hit the spot regardless. <laughs> Grace, how do you feel about your meal? I'm excited. You're excited? For these it's beans. Good. Yes. CPL review. Very good. Beer. Beer. Best Mexican food in Saigon. Now, after that, we also visited the War Remnants Museum. This was a very, very graphic museum. And for that reason, I didn't take much footage. However, you should know that there were lots of pictures of the deformities and birth defects that took place after the use of Agent Orange. Agent Orange was a chemical that was used by the United States in the Vietnam War to basically make sure all of the foliage fell off the trees. As we dive more into this journey politically, you will see that there was actually lots of under ground caves and tunnels that were dug out in order for the northern side of Vietnam to penetrate southern Vietnam. And so basically these guerrilla warriors would basically live in the tunnels. And for this reason, the United States thought it would be a great idea to implement Agent Orange, which caused not only lots of health problems for Vietnamese citizens, but also caused lots of health problems for American soldiers. Um, The War Remnants Museum, take it with a grain of salt. It's definitely this narrative of the American atrocities in Vietnam. Now, after the War Remnants Museum, we actually decided to go out, hit the town. This visit, we actually stayed in an Airbnb, which is kind of unusual for us. We're more hostile people. We like making friends. Um, Me, myself, I love an Airbnb. I love to have space to myself. I love a private shower. Now, if you're still here with me, don't forget to smash that subscribe button. I really appreciate all the subscribers I can get, especially as I continue my journey throughout the world. So after settling into our Airbnb, me and Sam went down to the city center where we got some food. Sam was craving something local, so I went with him. He, of course, talked me into ordering seafood. I absolutely despise seafood. Here I am just nauseous on the idea that I can see the different creatures. Um, And then there's Sam, of course, eating everything, ripping everything open. He loves it. He loves local food. Everyone, get it in now. (laughs) The crunch. After dinner, we came back to the Airbnb to pregame. Did y'all know Grace could do the splits? Who are we gonna? We're the party boys. And what we like to do? We like a party, yeah. Do we like a party, yeah? We like a party, yeah. And how we party? We party like this, yeah. <laughs> Oh. But she found me. 
can't always be lucky. You know. But when we are, we celebrate! So the next day we got up and we had a lovely breakfast. We actually took a visit to the Coochie Tunnels. Now the Coochie Tunnels were insane. The Coochie Tunnels are a series of underground passages operated by the Viet Cong, the guerrilla communist soldiers of the North in wartime. Soldiers and civilians use these passages very intentionally to communicate with each other and to set traps for the enemy. Here is an example of one of these traps. Ouch! Imagine falling into this. The tour guide also said that I had the perfect body type to fit through these tunnels if I was an American soldier at this time, so there you have it. I probably would not have come back from the Vietnam War if I had to do something like that. The coolest things about the tunnels were actually how they were created, and many times they even had special places to cook and trap the smoke. They had secret trap doors and ways to distract or booby trap the enemies. Overall, this place was insane. Also, as you can probably tell from the videos, these tunnels are tight. Check out this photo. Don't drop that dun dun dun. Ay. Don't drop that dun dun dun. Ay. <laughs> what was so impactful about our tour is that our tour guide, his father, actually served in the military for Southern Vietnam with the assistance of the United States military. And now this is important because when Saigon was taken over by the communists, his father was sent off to a work camp where he basically had to relearn values and he said that his father never returned the same but his father was one of the lucky ones anyways after all of that history the gang decided to go back to the airbnb we changed we cleaned up a bit and then we decided to hit the infamous walking street of ho chi minh city so lily i noticed you have an iron um did that come from the airbnb oh no i brought this from home you brought it from home, so you carry yeah. around an iron in your backpack. I did. You know, I had some extra room after I packed everything up, and I was like, it might get wrinkly in there, and so I decided to throw in the iron. Have you ever used, like, wrinkle releaser or, like... I actually brought wrinkle release spray as well. <laughs> <laughs> Good. What, what, what's your advice to travelers out there that don't want to travel with wrinkly clothes? Do you have any advice? Well, honestly, you're just going to have to suck it up and bring an iron or else you're going to look like a fool. Exactly. So. Exactly. <laughs> well, now that I know that you have an iron, I, I might yeah, have to use it or something. Ever, yeah, I'm happy to iron your clothes for you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Now, we had so much fun, and we were actually watching the World Cup in soccer, uh, and this was really exciting because Sam was into it. As Americans, we don't necessarily watch soccer all the time. However, if there's a great crowd, we love to just gather around and root for our favorite teams. This time specifically, though, um, some locals came up to Sam and Lily, and they asked some interview questions, which was really exciting. I actually got my shoes cleaned, um, then some my first time getting my shoes clean. So um, it was just overall a wonderful night. We took some cool pics. So guys, that's all we have for this video right here. Thank you so much for tuning in. Next time the gang is taking on Cambodia. Goodbye. Uh, see you next time. Uh. Please be sure to subscribe my channel and like this video if you enjoyed its content. Share it with all of your friends and I'll see you next time.